Dr. Paul here. You're catching me in my car because I'm off to the hospital to see a baby. We're at a red light. As pediatricians, one of the things we do is we get to see newborns in the hospital. Nothing better than a brand new baby walking them into the world. So, we're off to the hospital. <laughs> Don't no, do it. no tailgating. No, not a video at least. No. Son Noah. Hi. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. This is so exciting. Yep. Oh my goodness. This is little Verity. 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 You, you're an experienced mom. I was noticing from the pictures. Over yes. There. We've got. This would be number four. Number four. Wow, that's awesome. Awesome. You got such cute kids. That's amazing. All right. So. You got induced. I was induced. All right. Um, How was the delivery? Easy. Easy. Fast. Fast. So nice. fast. Yeah. Okay. Well, induced is when it's time for the baby to come out, but the baby's not sort of coming naturally, so to speak. So this was just a little pitocin and gets things going. We did that with one of my kids and uh, in fact, it was you. Me? <laughs> yeah, you, the guy behind the camera. <laughs> Well, let me borrow this needle one. Of course. One. You could let me know how perfect she is. Okay, I will. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, oh, I know it's okay. Got your little footprints already. Okay. So babies are born extra pink. And of course, initially their hands and feet are a little bit blue. You can kind of see that. So people who hear about APGAR scores will say, well, what were your APGARs? And it was probably nine and nine or something like that. Because the hands and feet are always a little blue. And we always use a little hat to avoid to avoid uh, losing heat. I'm actually going to get some gloves on. All right. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I washed my hands. I'll wash them again. But I still put on some gloves, too. So this is Vernix for the viewers. This... There's the, the baby's head is often covered with this white uh, sort of protective sticky stuff. And there's a little scrape here because of the monitoring they, they were trying to do, right? Yeah, a little, little bit of distress. Uh, so I always look at fingers. Got five fingers and five toes on each of the hands and legs. And, oh, it's my lucky day. I've got a stethoscope. All right. We've got a perfect, perfect heartbeat. Yay, we'll take no, that. No That's murmurs. An important That's an important part of the exam. Bless you. Bless you. All right. Heart and lungs are good. And looking for a red reflex. We got... Good red reflexes. Explain what red reflexes. So some babies are born with congenital cataracts, which instead of a nice flash of red when you look in the eyes, you would end up with a flash of white. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, there. Did you hear that? Ah. Uh. She went ah. Uh. This is like a very smart baby. I heard that you've already nursed a couple times. Yeah. And she's latched yeah, okay? she's latched great. So I'm just checking the suck and feeling the palate. And we've got a really nice latch, it seems. Yeah, yeah. she's been fantastic. Yeah, so the that's... Hour, you know? <laughs> yep, that's Long great. So this baby's only a couple hours old. She's just an hour old. Just an hour old. Brand I don't new. usually come this early because um, the really, really newborns, they look kind of bluish. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, what's going on here? So right now I'm just jiggling the... Jiggling the legs and to relax this tummy, and I'm squeezing in on the abdomen, making sure there's no masses. And then we're gonna check. I'm just checking femoral pulses. And there, there it is. 
This white stuff is more of that vernix. All right, femoral pulses are important because if you have a coarctation of the aorta, fancy terminology, but basically a narrowing of the aorta, which takes blood from the heart to the body and legs, you won't feel a good pulse because it's not flowing well. So, and that's something that can be serious. So now I'm checking hips. So you do a little maneuver where you're trying to dislocate the hips that way or this way, and the hips are perfect. I'm gonna have you take the camera away for a moment while I look at the genital area. Everything there looks good. Okay, camera back. So we checked off camera for genitals. Everything looks good. We got a normal girl here. And we're looking for sacral dimple that's normal. You see it? No, there is none, basically. Oh. A lot of times there'll be a, a dimple there that's very common and no big deal. But if you can't get to the end of it, then you have to explore that for a tethered cord. Okay, perfect baby. This here is an umbilical cord that's just been clamped and there are blood vessels in there that would bleed if you didn't have a, a way of clamping it. Super. So this clamp will be taken off usually before you go home in a day or two and the cord will separate from the body in a week or two. We got a perfect baby here. Thanks. Yay. Yeah, Isn't she awesome. beautiful? She's so such a fan. Yeah. I'll swing back by tomorrow and say perfect. hi. I was just finishing up early at the office and got the call and I thought, well, might as well just pop over. Yeah. yeah that's great. There yeah. she is. Rooting. Yeah. Great kid. Best yeah. day ever. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, hey, do you guys want a little treat? Oh, candy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I won't say no. Super. You guys have a great day. All right, take care. Well, folks, there you have it. A one hour old baby. One of the favorite things I like to do, part of being a pediatrician, is bringing, welcoming new babies into the world and, you know, reassuring the parents that they've got a healthy baby, which is almost always the case. A fortunate thing for us pediatricians. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Wait for me.